Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Keely Allen and welcome to... Let's stick some shit on poles. So I actually have a couple of plants here. I have three, but really they're going to be made into two. So what's happening is as follows. I have here a hybrid of Philodendron Varicosum with Philodendron Melanochrysum. And I have the same thing here, right? Yeah, this, this is shameful. I'm not going to lie, it is shameful. So this is the same plant, okay? Grown under a bit of a different set of conditions. It looks like shit. I know, I know it does. You don't have to tell me. You can if you like, I don't mind. It looks kind of like shit. So if you have seen my whole video, I mentioned in that video, what I'd like to do is I bought another one of these so that I could plant these together and grow them up a pole. But of course, this plant will sit at the base, kind of in front of this plant, like maybe like that kind of thing. I don't really know. I haven't you know, necessarily planned this, can you tell? But that's kind of what I'm gonna do today. So I have that, and I also have, let me pick her up because she's very pretty, this Philodendron Glorious, which is a hybrid of Philodendron Gloriosum and Philodendron Melanochrysum. And I'm pretty sure in my haul I also mentioned, you know, I'm probably going to put her on a pole. Today is that day. I have some soil mix here. I have my regular arid mix, but you may notice it's not as chunky as normal. I may have run out of orchid bark. I know, not great, but I think we're going to be okay. I also have two of these bad boys. I have mentioned these before. I think a while ago I reported a philodendron billetai in one of these. This is a Lashwaza, if that's even how you say it, self-watering planter. So I'm going to be setting two of these up with poles to mount these two plants. I was just going to do one in this video, but I'm pretty sure I can get through both. This might be a longer video. I don't even know. It's probably going to be quite chatty, so if that's not your thing, Really sorry, I will see you on Friday for my usual uploads. But as you know, I'm trying to do extra content here and there where I can to keep us all sane during this kind of shit time. So I'm gonna put my gloves on and I think we're gonna get started. I'm probably just gonna check these roots first. I feel like that's probably the way to go. So let me just pop this on. I did write down a couple of things that people have been asking me on Instagram. It's not like a full on Q&A. It's just kind of like things that people have been asking that I might just touch on today. I don't know. You know, this is just going to be pretty chill. I'm going to take my ring off actually because it's an absolute bitch to put these gloves on with this ring. No, it's not an engagement ring. I've had people ask that before. I'm wearing it on my right hand. It's not an engagement ring. So <laughs> y'all don't need to get excited. It's a beautiful ring, but it's not an engagement ring. So I'll just put these on. Don't know what to do first. I'm thinking let's do this ugly ass plant first. So I want to start by saying that in my whole videos, I put out a question to you all, which was basically, would you like me to do a video on how, you know, how to rehabilitate plants after shipping or just what to do if you notice something wrong? I'm doing that. I've actually planned that video almost and you should get that hopefully next week. So that should be really good. So I know so many people ask me on Instagram to do that. It's totally coming. Don't worry about it. It's not coming this week, this Friday, because you're actually getting the tissue culture video that I really need to finish editing because it's a bit of a beast. So I'm probably going to do that today as well. But I just wanted to let you guys know that that is 100% happening. I've heard your calls and you'll be getting that video next week, I do think. This looks really moist. I must have watered it recently. I was going to try and not water this because I just, I don't like to water things before I repot. That way I don't end up accidentally watering them kind of twice. I'm just going to try and get this out of the pot. Now you're probably thinking, why is this pot so small? Honestly, I nearly lost this plant a while ago. I've had this a long time. This is a very emotional plant for me. I mean, it's, it's clearly under some emotional stress itself. And the simple answer is I nearly lost it a while ago to root rot. It had virtually no roots left on it. I saved it in time. That's why it does look a little bit kind of ropey, to be honest, around here. It's never right, you know, quite recovered. But as a result, it's gone in a small pot so that it wouldn't get overwatered. So that is why it's in a small pot. Should I have repotted it ages ago? Yeah, absolutely. Did I? No. So we're in this mess, guys. I'm just going to try and like free the root. I probably will break the roots on these a little bit. I don't know if I can really avoid it. Oh, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to unpot all of this stuff onto this mat. I know exactly how this is going to go down. I'm going to put my new beautiful plant pots on. I'm going to get covered in shit because I've unpotted. Oh, this plant in it, that is not coming out. This happened last time with my Monstera Peru. It just would not come out of the damn pot. I like these pots. They're very sturdy, but 
when you've you know left it too long to repot, they're not your friends. I tell you this, they are not your friends. Let me know if anyone else finds out with these pots. You've got to be kind of, you can't be late to the party with repotting, I find. Right, I think we've got it. Wow, that's a really moist mixture. I'm actually surprised at how moist that is. Holy shit. So that's what we're left with. So we've got some root back. As you can see, it wasn't going brilliantly for this plant, but what can you really do? So I think the best thing to do is to take the other one out and see the roots on the other one, just because we have to take it out anyway. This is going to make the biggest mess ever. I regret this already. Okay, we'll get this plant out of here the best I can. Oh, come on. Do you ever get that with old scissors? Like there's, like you don't sharpen them and they just get old and kind of shit. And then there's like a sweet spot on your scissors that works and no other place on the scissors will work. That's basically where we're at with them. Right, don't really know what to say about this other than I'm sorry for the mess I'm about to create because I've got, to, I'm about to put a beautiful new white pot on here. And it's just gonna get ruined. So I've mentioned these before. The Schwarza pots, at Lechuza, Le Schwarza, I don't really know. I'm going to review these because I actually find them kind of awesome. So let me know if and when you're interested in that, but I'm, I'll be honest, I'm probably going to do it anyway because I think they're really, really good pots. While we're assembling this, oh, wait a minute, what? <laughs> How have I done this? Okay, so that doesn't belong to that one, that belongs to that one. What? That doesn't belong to this because it's in here. But then I also have an unopened one down there with the same thing. Never mind. Let's pretend you didn't see any of that. A few people have started to ask me about the LED lights on my shelves. And I know I was supposed to do a video about my grow lights ages ago. This is separate to the other video I was going to do on the grow lights. Let me just, you know what, let me just explain the whole grow light thing because I think I may as well, I'm here, right? So grow light video one was supposed to be the video on my grow light shelving that you guys have seen in my hauls. I don't know why I didn't end up doing that video. I think it just kind of missed its mark and I was just too busy and it just kind of, it just didn't happen. The other video on grow lights, I was also late to the party too, because if you remember in December, I was really, really ill. I had a terrible flu and I didn't get any content out. I couldn't even work towards content out. And that was probably round about the time that the video was gonna come out. So as there is no point telling anybody about grow lights right now, because we're coming into a good season anyway, I'm going to re-research it later on in the year, add to what I've currently got, make sure everything is up to date, and then I will pump out the grow light video, you know, late this year when it reaches, you know, fall, autumn, because there's just no point putting something out right now when it's just not relevant. You know what I mean? There's no point. I may as well wait, make sure I've done a good job and then put it out later. So that's why you haven't had the grow light video. The other video was just a simple case of didn't get around to it, didn't happen. Feels kind of less relevant now because I don't necessarily recommend the lights on my shelves. I'm not saying that they're great lights. So I haven't rushed out to make a video on it really. Um, for that reason. Hang on, what's going on here? I've forgotten how this works. It's so simple as well as like three pieces. The lights on my grow light shelves are just from AliExpress. They're just simple LEDs. So there's really nothing to write home about and they're, they're actually on a IKEA Vitzjo unit. So if you go on AliExpress and I think you search for like LED strip lights, you will find them and you'll find them reasonably cheap. Mine are obviously wired through the shelves, so they're like super, super neat, but you don't have to wire them through. You can come up with your own way of doing it. I would do a video on it, but honestly, I'm not about to go and buy more shelves and make more lights yet, so there isn't any point. If I ever do do that, and I do say I buy another bit drill unit and I go to make shelves, then I'll probably do it. Oh my God, that's really stiff. Why is it so stiff? Come on. Oh my goodness, get in. It's almost like that's not even gonna fit. How on earth? It's obviously a bit of a faulty one, clearly. Right, see if that works. Ha 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 ha. That goes in there once that goes in there. So if you don't already know, there's like this raised plate in the bottom. I'm going to put the little reservoir on here, just slide it in like that. Now, normally I would put this on like this and that is how the self-watering aspect works. It just has a little meter in here that goes up and down when you need to water your plants. But last time I planted this, so we're gonna leave it here. Cause I ain't doing that again. We're not, we're not going through that. I'm just gonna shut, I keep calling it gravel by the way. I'm really sorry. It's like their answer to Lekka, but I'm just calling it gravel. Please just deal with it. 
it's the same shit. It's all the same shit. It's just gravelly. Right, that's in the bottom. As well, a few people have been asking me about the biob, and I don't know if you caught whatever video I talked about that in. I think I talked about that in the video when I came back from Thailand and I did a report. I'm going to review that because a lot of people have asked me for updates on what's growing in it, which I will probably do in the same video because it will only take a couple of minutes. So there's not much point making a separate video out of it. So I will do that and I'll review it because I have a lot to say on the biob. Uh, yeah. I have two biobs. I have one here and I have one in my shop and they're both broken. And it's probably the same fault. I don't know. So you'll get a review on it. I'm not trying to, you know, initiate any tea here at all, but you'll get a review on it. Uh, stay tuned because I know a lot of people are buying them and I've had them for a year. I know I've said this before. I've had them for a year. I feel I'm qualified to discuss the pros and the cons because there are pros of them also cons. So I'm going to discuss that very soon. I just need to kind of get planning with that. A few people asked me how the shop is going as well. The answer is it's going okay. I, uh, well, f funny enough, I have a little bit of anxiety recently because I was supposed to do my last launch, which was Friday, just gone. And I was due a box of Philodendron Florida Ghost weeks ago, right? Weeks ago. And they have not arrived. And this box has 50 Florida ghosts in. And this box is currently sat in customs and it's been sat there for weeks. So that's unfortunate. I spent a lot of money, as you might be able to imagine, on that box of plants and it's gonna rock up pretty dead. I'm kind of over it, I guess. This, these things happen. Uh, full disclosure, it's been phytoed and everything. I don't know why it's been held up. I presume it's because of COVID. All my plants come in with phyto, so that shouldn't be an issue. Every now and again, though, this happens. Like if you remember last year with the, the Spirit of Sancti, this happened as well. That was phytoed. And even then that got held for two weeks. You know what I'm saying? It happens. It really just happens. It's like the people inspecting the plants don't give a shit that they're plants and they can die. No one cares, and I, I really hate that, but that's just the business we're in, I guess. And I know that other plant sellers have probably had exactly the same frustrations as me. So anyway, I'm waiting on this box, but I thought, since it's gonna be an absolute car crash, I'm probably gonna unbox it on camera and do like just a little video of me unboxing it so we can all see how bad these ghosts actually are, because I think it could be kind of funny, and I think it's a good way of kind of laughing it off. I mean, they might be salvageable, I don't even know. I have no idea, do you know what I mean? Who even knows at this point? We shall see. Right, so, oh yeah, oh no, I forgot about the pool. Oh, I did this last time. Right, so there is a hole in the bottom that I've completely forgotten about where I need to stick a pole. That looks to me like that's gonna be enough. I know you probably can't see it on camera, but quite honestly, it's a pole who really gives a shit. So there it is. Put the gravel back. Right. Now we're ready, okay. Oh, look at it, it's so pathetic. Okay, you probably can't see this. I don't know how much you're gonna get to see. I'll do my best, but I'm just gonna position it kind of in the way it's been growing because the leaves are facing a certain way anyway. And I think that's probably how we're gonna do it. So I think I put this in. I'm just gonna actually just put the, the other one straight over at the bottom here so we get something that looks like this. I don't know if you can see, can you see? Yeah, kind of. Do my best, guys, I really am. Right, so I'm probably gonna put that one like that because this one is gonna be attached to the pole and then that one will just have to sit in front. How are we doing around here? I'll scooch that around the back. Gotta hope the next plant isn't quite as difficult as this one because this one's taken me ages. The little self-watering meter is not sitting flush and it's really annoying me. So another thing people have asked me, quite a few people ask me this actually, is, you know, how am I feeling about, not necessarily specifically the shop, although people have asked that. It's more, how do I feel about quitting my, you know, programming career? You know, do I regret it? Do I miss it? And the answer is, yeah, I, I really do actually miss doing what I was doing. I miss the work to an extent, but I also miss some of the people that I was working with, namely two people. Um, that would be Scott and Johnny. I know I've mentioned them before, but they are my boys and I love them and I miss them terribly. I did not get to see them before I went to Thailand and that's obviously such a shame because I probably can't see them for months now. But I miss you both. If either of you are watching this, which I know you kind of do, which surprises me to no end because neither of you are into plants. So that's very sweet that you support me like that. Thank you. I do miss you both terribly and I can't wait to see you and I hope you're both doing fine in the current climate. 
But yeah, I do miss it. I miss making games. I even miss playing games now because I don't have time to do it. Miss the whole thing, but at the end of the day, I think I'm happier this way, or at least for now. So although I miss it, I will be continuing on as I am for now anyway. Just we'll see how it goes. I don't, for, for some reason, I don't have a particular plan, which is unusual for me because I've nearly always got a plan. But in this situation, I don't. I don't know if you guys know this, but I must have had, and I know people very close to me know this, I think I had like three mental breakdowns last year, literally. No, nobody knew because I didn't mention it, but I think about three in a year. Like panic attacks, the works, because I was working so hard and I just, I hated what I was doing. Like my daily life, I just, I just hated it. So I guess I'm not in a hurry to go back to that. You know what I mean? Um, I like what I'm doing. I'm working very hard, but it's different now because I love the work. You know, it's, it's just not the same. It really isn't feel different but I do I certainly miss playing games oh my gosh I wish I could just sit there for three days on end and just play World, World of Warcraft because I, I miss that game so much and y'all can give me hate for that if you want I know World of Warcraft is like super geeky but I don't care I love it I just want to play more games like I, I don't know if people know this but I used to have a gaming channel on YouTube I've kind of removed most of the videos off that just because you know no one wants that shit on YouTube but yeah, I used to have a gaming channel. I used to be kind of what was known as a let's player back then. So in the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, in the way that like PewDiePie would play games, I kind of did the same thing. I, I mainly did horror games actually because I just get a kick out of being frightened. But I really miss that. I miss live streaming as well because I used to play games on stream. Part of me has thought about doing that again, but I don't know, it's the time. I never have the time, which is such a shame, honestly, such a shame. I'm just actually attaching the plant to the pole with this wonderful, wonderful tape uh, that I've been using. Really good, really soft and velvety on one side and then lovely and velcroy on the other. Wonderful tape, can recommend, and you cut it to the size you want. Does recommend a five centimeter overlap on it to make sure, you know, it sticks, but it's super awesome, I love it. Now with this plant, I don't know whether I'm gonna cut it down. Hear me out. So what I'm debating doing is cutting this plant down a bit and making cuttings for the shop or whatever have you. But I don't know because the plant is growing. I don't know if I can really show you here next to me. Can you see that? Yeah, it, don't get me wrong. This is very cool that it's grown kind of long and thin, probably just due to the environment because it is the same plant as the one on the bottom. But it might just be at the point for me where it's just too leggy and I want to, you know, thicken it up. So what I could do is I could just take cuttings and propagate them for the shop or whatever and make loads of little babies. So if you see that happen, I've told you about it in advance. That is honestly what I'm thinking of doing. I love how long they've got. But that is her. She's not the prettiest looking of things. I don't know if you can see that there next to me there. Actually, she does look pretty nice. She probably needs to kind of rotate a little bit to face the light. Yeah, that is her. Lovely. Let's move on to the second one. This one should be easy though. I'm actually gonna build the pot first because I've learned my lesson. So let's build the second pot. What are you guys been up to anyway? Like tell me in the comments what you've been doing to get through this since the last time we spoke because I'm kind of curious. For me, I'm just doing the same old, same old. I have been watching a little bit of YouTube. I've been catching up a little bit. Uh, what else have I done? Bought some makeup, it's really bad. I don't need more makeup. I, I seriously don't, I just don't need it. I've discovered Pat McGrath recently and I know, I know they're expensive palettes, don't get me wrong. But if you ever needed to know if it was worth it, it absolutely is. Oh my goodness. I didn't think that anything could be much better than Anastasia for me, just because I think her makeup is great. I love the formula. But seriously, this Pat McGrath shit, oh my God. Literally, oh my God. Get on Pinterest if you're interested in like buying a really you know, good palette that you're just gonna like hammer every day. Get on the internet, get on Pinterest, have a look at her palettes. Look at swatches and shit like that. Because honestly, they're incredible. I own two of her palettes now. Um, a few of you were asking in my whole video, oh my God, what is that on your eyes? It was Pat McGrath. I just wasn't in a rush to say anything because it's Pat McGrath and I don't want to look like I'm ramming expensive products down anyone's throat, but I've been trying that and I've been absolutely just Dying for it, loving for it. Absolutely brilliant. I'm probably gonna pop more makeup on for videos when I film and that's only because I'm not going anywhere. I'm probably gonna do my makeup a little bit more than what I maybe usually would. I don't know. 
I just miss putting it on, to be honest, because most of the time my hair's slapped back. You know, I have a bun in and I'm just working. So it's kind of nice to just, you know, put a little bit of makeup on. Right, hopefully this isn't going to do what the last one did. So yeah, that's all I've done, which is basically nothing. I did chill out yesterday, actually. I was supposed to be planning a video, but I thought, you know what, I just, I just want to chill. I've worked seven days the last two weeks. I'd like to just chill. So I took an afternoon off and I watched the new Shane Glossin video. Very good if you haven't already seen it. Holy shit, how do they get away with doing that? And I'm talking about both conspiracies he really mentioned, but really I'm talking about, well, he mentioned three conspiracies, mainly the water. How, how do you get away with doing that? I'm not gonna give anything away in case people, like, cause I know there's like, the, like just millions of Shane Dawson fans. You may not have seen it yet, but he, he goes through a conspiracy involving water. And I think it's called the Sani water. Put it this way, it's actually banned in the UK. <laughs> so I never knew about it. Like I watched that whole thing not even knowing about the water or anything. But watch it, it's really, really good. But yeah, so I watched that yesterday, lit, obviously. I've been watching another young lady, I can't remember what her channel is called. Is it Kiki? Kiki somebody. Beautiful blonde girl, uh, talks about MLMs a lot. Kind of been hammering that recently. I did try and watch Tiger King okay on netflix and I'm gonna be honest with you i'm not sure i get it like i'm not gonna give up on watching it but i found it i don't know if it's just the way it was edited or that's how the person that edited it wants you to feel but i'm just kind of a bit lost on what's going on it's a little bit scrambled and i know they're probably trying to portray this big web of like shit going on but it just felt a little bit too scrambled for me two seconds i'll cut this because it's noisy so yeah, I've tried to watch that. Mm. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I don't know why, I'm just not. Now let me get this pole. Oh gosh, I have to get it with my foot. <laughs> There's so much shit under this table, honestly. Before I film, I like to get like extras in case I need it so I don't have to move. Right, I'm gonna try and pick it up with my feet. There we go. Awesome. Identical pole as last time. I probably didn't mention this. My poles are from Amazon. Can recommend, there's probably better poles out there. Don't get me wrong, but. I can kind of recommend these. They're okay. They do the job, right? At the end of the day, they do the job. Right, same thing as last time. That part is ready to go. And I'm gonna take this one out. Oh, I didn't put the little lid. Oh, on my little self watering thing. Shocking, there we go. Right, so this plant has been in my shop pot. I tend to plant everything that comes into the shop in these pots here because they tessellate really well and they're an okay size, generally for the plants I bring in. This is probably a little bit small, but I knew it was temporary, so it's okay. I'm just gonna try and empty it back out into here. I know this substrate is uber fresh, so it's not gonna bother me that it's getting tipped out into this container. I'm thinking about, once I've done this video, I'm thinking about hopping on Instagram Live for a little bit, um, because I feel like, why not? And that doesn't mean when you see this, I'm going on Instagram Live, it means after I've recorded this, so you won't know. <laughs> Basically, if you've missed it, you won't know. I don't know, I just felt like maybe it might be nice to talk to you guys, even if it's just for 10 minutes here and there. Maybe I can do that. Just get a little bit of, you know, interaction going because I would love to do that. I'd love to speak to you all. I'm probably going to do that. There was something I was thinking about as well. And this is totally first world problems, by the way, 100%. But what didn't occur to me with this present situation is how I'm going to do basic things like getting my hair done because I get highlights in my hair. And I thought, okay, if I do stuff like that, because I'm going to be doing my hair at home, for example, of course, does anyone care if I film it and maybe put it on a second channel? Like I can do the same thing with the skincare videos because I know so many people are asking me. I'm just not sure about putting it on this channel. Do you know what I mean? Because to be fair to people, they did subscribe for plans and that's what they're here for. I know people would watch other content from me. So I'm debating setting up a second channel just for this kind of stuff. It wouldn't have an upload schedule or anything like that this one has. This is always my main channel. But if it's a case of like, you want to see me do something on skincare or talk about, I don't know, a, an experience I've had, not a story time, but I don't know, just talk about stuff, hair stuff. Like I could film me doing my actual hair because it's a fucking nightmare. I've done it before. Let me know what you think about that. If I do go on Instagram live today, I'll probably ask what you guys think. So if you're hearing this a second time, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to know what people think about that, whether people care, because I feel like the people that are interested could just hop over to that second channel and view stuff there without it kind of clouding up this channel. 
So let me know what you think about that in the comments because I'm, I'm kind of interested. I don't have to film these things, but since I'm getting so many requests, I feel like why not, right? No pressure. It's not a second channel that I'm running, so don't get it twisted. That is not what I'm doing. I do not have time. But it's just in case anyone's interested, you know? Right, we're nearly done with this one. This one's obviously a much easier ride than the last one. The last one's a nightmare. Let me just try not to make too much of a mess. Oh, it's the wrong angle. Oh, oh God, I'm making such a mess. Can you even see how much of a mess I'm making? Yeah, probably. Shameful, I know. Right. Let's just get a little bit more full on. Let's just pour everything from the bowl. I've got a few things in the works though. Um, a few reviews in the works. And I've been thinking a lot about reviews and products on my channel. This is no shade to anybody at all, but I've given this some thought and I would like to review some, you know, plant related products on my channel, but I want to do so like extremely independently and give my independent opinion. So I get many, many emails daily about fertilizer, about grow lights, about humidifiers, about everything. If you are a company interested in sending me anything, please understand I cannot be bought. I have my own opinions. Don't, don't, just don't bother emailing me if that's what you want from me because I'm not going to do it. I've decided, I've thought long and hard about this. And honestly, that is why you haven't seen stuff like that on my channel. It's just something I've been thinking about. Sorry, this probably wasn't articulated very well at all. I'm really sorry. But I just wanted you to know that it is something I have been thinking about. I've thought about it quite a bit. That's kind of the decision that I've come to on that just want to start reviewing things so i probably buy products here and there and start reviewing them so if you've got anything you'd like me to review please let me know down below and i will probably purchase it if a company wants to send me something to review that is absolutely fine i will tell you that in the event that that happens and i will give my own opinion on a similar note i know a few influencers have recently reviewed reviewed a few things but namely the is it eco homes I can't remember the name of the company, I'm so sorry. Um, they were sent humidifiers, this is a thing. They were sent humidifiers. Um, I've been sent the same humidifier from this company. I'd like to add that anybody that's already reviewed this, what they're saying is totally true. They do uh, let you have your own opinion because I know that Pam uh, has also reviewed this humidifier. I haven't watched it yet, but I know she's reviewed it in like a first impressions. They do let you have your own opinion. I was offered to do that but I quickly realized that a lot of people were reviewing it. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of sit this one out. I'll review it in a few months when, you know, everything dies down because I didn't want just, to, you know, you guys to have 50 videos on a humidifier that week. So I may do that a few months down the line. They have sent it to me. I am interested in reviewing it. I'm probably gonna full on road test it against the Love What humidifier because it's like the, the flagship humidifier. I know I recommended that, I think before it even took off on my channel like a year ago and now it's like everyone has one so i wanted to rule test it against that anyway um so i'll probably do that i'm definitely going to review the bio -op. i'm reviewing something else as well that i'm not gonna tell you about yet because it's kind of a way off because i need to i need to kind of plan that one a little bit i need to do some research because there may be some tea on it so if there's tea y'all are gonna get it you know what i'm saying that's the score anyway so sorry for the massive ramble because this thing was planted about five minutes ago so Yes, they're absolutely a state. I've completely and utterly put soil all over this. It's not sexy. I've now forgotten to put these little caps on the other one as well. Let me just do that one second, because I will forget. Why don't they make these the same color as the poles? I don't get it. Hopefully, over time, this bad boy will start doing kind of that, but we'll just have to wait and see. But that is her, that is my glorious, and I guess that concludes this uh, report with me. I almost didn't know what it was called there. I know this is very long. I know it's a bit of a drivel, but I don't necessarily have the time when I do these videos to do like the same amount of editing on the extra content. Cause obviously if you watch my channel, you know that my main videos have a lot that go into them. So I can't really afford to do the extra effort on another video because I work seven days a week as it is and it's, it's a bit of a struggle. So I really do apologize that this is a little bit longer and a bit drivelly. And a lot of you actually prefer that. So that's great. <laughs> I'm pleasing a percentage of you at least, but 
yeah, I'm sorry that this was a little bit dribbly. I will try and, can I even put this anywhere? Anywhere at all. Can't even see it in the frame. Excellent, excellent work, Kaylee. Thank you very much for watching this and sitting down with me and just having a bit of a chat. I will see you guys on Friday for the tissue culture video. So I'm super excited for that. It's totally not edited yet. It's kind of 70 to 80% there. We need to re-record a couple of things, but then it should be done. So I'm very excited for you guys to see that on Friday. So in like four days time, no, three days by the time you see this video. Um, I hope you, I hope you're all well. I hope that you're not climbing the walls because I, I know that this is a really shit situation that we're all in. I hope that you're coping okay. And I wish you nothing but the best in these times. And I'm gonna love you and leave you and I will see you on Friday. If you have any ideas on videos I could do as like the off video, I know I've said this before, but I'm saying it again. Please do let me know in the comments below. Just anything that doesn't require the mammoth amount of editing that my usual videos require, i.e. stuff like this. So if you've got anything to suggest, then please let me know in the comments below. And I'm definitely gonna go now. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe guys, stay at home.